It's koi pond closing time again as we get into the colder temperatures. Um, we're now getting into uh, the sort of 40 degree, I'd say mid to low 40s by day and it's going down as low as the, uh, the 30s by night. So it's time to shut down the koi pond. I've shut off the pump which circulates the uh, the water and runs the water through the filters and I've also started draining out some of the water put our, uh, my utility pump into one of the uh, two barrels that I have here one barrel I have on the right hand side is the vortex barrel and then um, it goes off into the second barrel which has my filters in it so I'll start to drain off some of the water I will end up pulling out about 30% of the water out of the pond. Before adding the water, I will clean out all the leaves. I've already pulled out quite a bit off the top and uh, a good chunk of them ended up uh, falling down to the bottom. Uh, I've gone through with a net and uh, sort of dredged out quite a bit here. It's better filled a better part of a pail with uh, the leaves. I have a uh, a large maple tree up overhead which adds a lot of the leaves to the water. So we'll get this all cleaned up and then at that point I will add fresh water to the pond uh, and I'll have it, the filtration and everything will be shut down but I'll add about 30% fresh water to the system and uh, I will add some water conditioner which helps neutralize the, the city added chlorine and fluoride and any other uh, ammonias that they add to it. And I also usually put in some aquarium pond salt to help provide some added uh, bacteria fighters for the fish. Fights off any bacteria that are left in the water. I usually add about, I think it's recommended about 0.1% salt. So I have a thousand gallon uh, pond, so I'll do the math and add accordingly. This just helps the fish create sort of a slime coat to fight off that bacteria. Once ice does start to form, probably not for another four or five weeks or so, I will add a bubbler and a heater to keep a hole in the ice. This allows the uh, exchange of gases. The fish uh, obviously are gonna be expelling uh, carbon dioxide and taking in oxygen, so we have to have an exchange of gas somewhere and uh, keeping a hole in the ice will provide for that. So I've also removed the pump and the UV filter. You can see the two of them here. I'll uh, bring those out, uh, clean them up inside and store them in the warmth of the house. These two have been just workhorses for me to remove all the debris and the floating algae in the water that uh, turns it into that pea green soup look. I'd be lost without it. I, don't, I wouldn't recommend anyone put a backyard pond in without putting a UV filter on because they are incredible workhorses. I also cover the loose ends on the uh, the filter uh, pipes, uh, plumbing, just to ensure I get no small critters, visitors inside and that when I hook things up in the spring all the water flows well. I've also pulled out the uh, filter pad and the uh, bio balls out of the filtration uh, barrel. These two uh, capture most of the loose particles running through the water and uh, the bio balls capture and create a good bacteria that can stick to it and that helps eat off some of the uh, bad bacteria as it flows through again and through the UV and back into the pond. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please do give me a like and feel free to subscribe. Always putting out more pond videos as the season goes on. I've had my pond for years and come fall time, as long as I've uh, closed up everything um, and uh, put everything away, it, I have no problems in the spring getting everything up and running again. And uh, it's always good to see the fish coming alive in the springtime. So far, I've been quite lucky and haven't lost any. Thanks for watching.